in Ennerdale again today. I'm parked at Bonus Knot Car Park, which is on the shores of Ennerdale. Not somewhere I've ever been, but look at it, it's absolutely stunning. So peaceful. Um, got to the car park about eight o'clock. I wanted to be early because I know it gets quite busy um, and it was still packed when I got here so yeah it's a good job I didn't come any later. Um, so I've got big big run planned for today just over 11 miles, four wing rides. Um, I'm not confident because my foot was niggling a little bit yesterday um, but I'm going to see how I go on because I can't waste the opportunity while I'm up here. Um, it's going to be another warm one, a little bit of cloud over the pizza head. Um, hopefully that'll lift by the time I'm getting up there. isn't even on me it's behind the clouds at the minute so even when ooh, the clouds disappear and the sun comes out I'm in a bit of trouble my favorite type of footpath really loose rock So that's Corfell. I think I can just about make out the cairn on top from here, which is good. Right, the views have just opened up so I can see all the peaks which I'm going to hit today. Um, it looks absolutely lovely. Um, so I've got Corfell in front of me, which I'm climbing up first, and then Haycock, um, veering off to Scope Fell, and then Steeple just across the way. I 
and then coming back down the other side just behind me I love it when you can see your route out in front of you <sighs> sun's not out yet um, but I'm thankful because it's still warm um, but there's a nice breeze there's also a lot of midges about and I haven't put any spray on so they're gonna have a right meal of me today because midges love me so the kern I could see from further down was actually the path marker just there not the top at all the top is all the way over there so still quite a bit of a trek um, but it's looking lovely um, not many people about it is pretty early I did see one guy coming back down he must have camped here for the night oh, sun's coming out now oh. so that's Corfell so I've got to go up and then kind of veer off to the right to get up there Here at last, oh, car fell. Oh, old Alfred wasn't lying when he said it's a long old slog up to the top of this one. Four miles just to get to the top. Thankfully, um, I think most of the hard work's done now. I'm up around about the height I'm gonna be staying for the next few miles. So I'll only be losing a couple of hundred metres here and there. So hopefully get a bit of running done now. Um, sun's out. A bit breezy up here, so that's good. Cool me down. Um, I'm going to have something to eat now, I think. Quick five minute break. Just let me legs get some life back into them. And then I'll head over to the next one, which is Haycock. So a sheep. Oh, didn't see you. So this ahead is Little Gouda Crag, it doesn't look very little, I've got to scramble over that and then start the climb over to Haycock. Whew.
was more scrambling than I bargained for today. Right, over the crag and now that's Haycock. Feels like miles and miles away. There we go, that's what we like to see. Haycock, peak two of the day. Oh. What amazing views over to the sea. So clear and so peaceful, there's not many people out at all. I think there's a couple um, just on the way up behind me. But yeah, not really seen many people at all today. Right, now we're heading across to Scopefell. Oh, be glad when I'm off all this rocky bit. It's strange how it's just, the top of the peak is all rock. And then it just disappears. Um, yeah, so dropping down a bit and then climb back up um, ooh, to Scorpfell, which is the third one of the day. Right, I know I've said this about 50 times on this video already, but I'm not going to apologise for this saying it again. These views are absolutely amazing. I've just got to, I think I'm at the top now of 
Scope Fell and you can see all across to the Scarfells. Um, let me just get somewhere where I can show you. see Great Gable which is the pudding bowl shaped one somewhere there you go that's one of my favorite climbs that I need to do that again soon um, but absolutely amazing right I've had a minute and now I'm making my way back um, the way I came up um, to a path junction and then I need to head over to Steeple which is the last one of the day I am um, about six just under six and a half miles into a eleven and a half mile run I say run I'm not doing much running am I um, so yeah, I'm, I'm only just halfway, so I think it's just going to be a long slog back to the car after I've done this next peak. Um, but yeah, oh, I think that might be steeple over there. See if I can show you, very interesting. So that's the one I'm climbing up now, Steeple. Um, it looks um, different, like a big rock protrusion out the ground as opposed to a big flat grassy or rocky one. Some lovely views over to Ennerdale Water now. Hello. Hiya. I'm Hiya. not a professional photographer. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, thanks. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, I've just come from Haycock. Haycock. Yeah. If you if you're going well, you can probably see Scarfell from here, but amazing views. <laughs>
Oh no, cats see scaffold. Here we are, steeple, fourth and final one of the day, oh. nice surprising little clamber up to this one, oh need a minute now, I think I did that a bit too fast. Right, onwards, down the ridge. tough descent from steeple, very rocky, um, slipped a couple of times, potentially could have done a lot of damage but luckily um, I didn't and I don't know if you can hear that but that is just the most welcome sound right now, it's the first stream I've seen all day obviously since um, leaving the car park at Ennerdale so the feet are going in because I'm red hot oh oh that feels amazing I'll just run through the forest which it's a bit of a welcome break, um, it's a bit more forgiving underfoot um, than the fell because the ground's a lot softer but I use the term unforgiving loosely because there's a lot of tree roots so I need to be careful I'm not tripping over them uh, but it's nice and cool in here as well so yeah hopefully I'll soon be on level ground Speak of the devil, there it is, there's the track. <laughs> oh, you can feel the heat of the sun as soon as you come out of there. Oh, flipping heck. Right, I think I'm just gonna have to come, grab a quick drink and something to eat. Just refuel me. Oh. So I've just got to the road um, where I veered off into the forest. I went straight up and I've just come that way there. So not too far now. Off the car, probably about a mile and a half. And just see Ennerdale water. So nearly done.
we're back at the car park. So, I've done 11.93 miles. So I'm going to do a loop of the car park to make it up to 12. Because I'm sad like that. Um, four new Wainwrights ticked off, which gives me 74 left to do. Um, so yeah, four, four big ones really today. And some amazing views over to the Scarfells. Um, I'm hoping to go up and do the Scarfells and that range back end of August when I'm here for a week. Um, that'll be some big runs. Got me on 11.98. Right, I can go back to the car now. Um, right, so yeah. I'm gonna make my way home now. I've got about a two and a half hour drive. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. See you soon.